All right, so change of plans. Instead of the first way I was doing it, now I'm going to weld them. Now I'm going to use a piece of angle iron because I thought that would give this more strength, and the tractor's not going to notice. Um, it might even allow the dirt to deflect more easily than going, trying to go around something round. It might keep the pipe from getting bent as the dirt hits it or a rock hits it or something. And so I think that'll protect the pipe, and that is just, uh, yeah, I don't know, this 3 16 looks like. So, I made three brackets, and it was a little bit of a pain to try to get this bolt to where it's just touching the inside of the subsoiler, the edge of the subsoiler right there, and then get these cut, but it took a few measurements and a couple extra cuts, and uh, I think I have it. So I've got it tack welded in there, there, and down there, so I'm going to lay it over because I'm a better sideways welder than I'm a vertical welder just to make sure I get a good solid weld on all of them. And then I'm probably weld them on the inside as well just to, just to try to get a little extra strength because now I wish I was using a bit more heavy duty stuff. I was using this 1 originally, this strap, because I was welding to this thin pipe and I didn't want to use anything heavy duty. Well now, what I'll do is, I'll just make sure the pipe's straightened up, and then just weld along here. And hopefully that'll take care of it. And hopefully I'm at the right angle on everything. We're going to find out.